to another video. Today we're talking about regrets. Put all of your biggest regrets in the comments, <laughs> right? <laughs> this is a heart to heart, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, van build regrets. What do we regret about our van build? Nothing. Nothing. Just kidding. <laughs> That's not true. We regret some things. Specifically five things. We'll go from the smallest regret to the biggest regret. To kick it off with our smallest regret, it would have to be not putting an awning on ah, that's, during that's... our van build. There were a few things because of, you know, budgetary reasons we wanted to maybe put on after we finished the build. And an awning was one of those. Without giving too much details, the way that we put up our racks and our solar panels, it's just going to be just downright difficult. The reason this is our smallest is because it's still possible, it's just going to be a little more difficult. Our next, and again, going in level of importance here, because this one's pretty small as well, and you know what, I'm actually going to let Mallory, I don't have a problem with this one, but this is one of her biggest regrets. Go ahead. <laughs> no, please, tell the people. So, one of, I guess, my regrets um, is the she regrets how I built it pretty much is what she's saying <laughs> is the placement of the door handles oh. or the, the cabinet handles I should say our kitchen cabinet handles just the placement of them is a little too low so you know we're super old you got to bend down to open them. she's gonna blame me for like back problems in 30 years because of where I put these handles again small regret so bringing it to our third one, it would have to be our hot water heater, which well, our lack of a hot water is heater. non-existent. And it's not the fact that we don't have a hot water heater. Because we left ample room, ample? We left plenty of room to add one. That was the whole point. However, I never ran the piping for it. So we would have been talking like a surgical procedure on the wall, opening it up, adding piping, and that's just not something that we're interested in while we're out in the road trying to live in our tiny home. Again, possible, but not a simple task to say the least. And we knew what we were doing when we didn't put hot water in. We just ended up finding out a few months in that we really wanted it for dishes. Our dishes are always like 80% clean. We just... <laughs> 85. 85% clean. Sometimes Mallory would just be like, oh, these noodles taste like soap. And then I'm like, crap, we could have used the hot water heater. So another regret for you. Don't make the mistakes we made. That should be the slogan of this video. It's not that catchy, so maybe not. Anyways. Okay, and we are down to our final two. And this one, again, well, there's one above this, but this one is the one that keeps me up at night. See, it just, I, I, I should have known better, honestly. It's just, and I see it all the time. Ugh. As shown in this video, this is not something that you're gonna find on Instagram or in any close-ups, but you know what? We're just pouring out our soul to you right here. Biggest regrets. These are simple cracks in the walls, but let me stop right now and say... They were not here when we started van life. They... It, Mallory, tell, tell them. I spent hours upon hours upon layers upon <laughs> layers wood puttying these cracks and they still came back for us. Moral of the story, when putting up walls in your camper van, use as few pieces of plywood as possible. Just to kind of backdate this video, we built our van during the middle of a pandemic. That's right, in 2020 we had a pandemic. It's called COVID-19. And a lot of different things happened in the economy. One of those being... Wood prices. Wood prices went through the roof. And I tried to be economical and use all of our scrap wood. But this is one area I should not have taken that shortcut. All things considered, it really isn't that bad. Especially to other people who see our van. But to us, the ones that built it, it just looms over us every day. Just looming cracks on the walls. Last but not least, our biggest regret of the van... The size of our refrigerator. It looks like you could buy it at Toys R Us. Really good if you live in a hobbit hole. If you want to keep like three to four drinks cool, this is perfect. We'll send you the link. I know we're ragging on it, but it really isn't that bad. And we call this a regret, but it really was just kind of a screw up in the ordering process. We could have always shipped it back, but we just followed through because, you know, we had never done this lifestyle before. We didn't know the size of a fridge that you might need in a van. So what had happened was someone told us, and I'd actually seen 
this truck fridge. You can get it at truckfridge.com, I think. And it was a TF49. He gave me the model and I was like, cool, I'm gonna order this exact one. I went on the website, ordered the first TF49. Take a look at this website. So as you can see, this is just really the model type. There's about 10 of these, all with different sizes. So I just clicked on the first one. I think it happened to be one of the smallest ones. Again, this is during COVID, so shipping it back was just gonna be a nightmare and we followed through with a small fridge. Regret it now. It really hasn't been that bad. Whether you have our fridge or one of the Dometics, you're constantly just gonna be playing a game of Tetris with your van fridge. We actually don't mind. It gets us out of the van, into the grocery stores. We can buy fresh from farmer's markets if we want to, so. But the real regret within this regret we can't fit Ben and Jerry's in our freezer. Mallory does like her, no. <laughs> Mallory does love her ice cream. So our regrets in order of least important to most important. Awning, knob height, water heater, wall cracks, and small fridge. None of these have been detrimental in our overall van build, but if you can learn even just a few things from these regrets, then there you go. Throw it, throw it. Throw the regrets. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. We try to post content every one to two weeks. That's right, so subscribe, uh, alert, uh, comment, like, click, tap. I don't know all of them. We also have an Instagram that we post more than every one to two weeks. So if that's more your cup of tea, head there as well. Until next time, Van Here Adventures out. <laughs> That's, we should make that a thing, no? Well, this has been pleasant talking about our regrets, but we're gonna go make dinner and, I don't know, watch the sunset or something? We'll probably just watch The Office. Watch The Office. Yeah. See ya. Peace.